Hello everyone, welcome to learn with Abdul Basit in another video. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the fiber optic or optical fiber cable, which is also known as OFC. In the last video, you have seen the different types of cables used in CCTV. Optical fiber or fiber optic cable, it is one of the best transmission cable throughout the world. No matter what signal you would like to transmit from one place to another place. It could be a data signal, it could be a video signal, it could be an audio signal or it could be any other form of signal that can be transferred using this optical fiber cable. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the entire setup, the termination and the connectivity of optical fiber in any me. What is up optical fiber? Let us understand first. Optical fiber, it is a cable. It has a protective shield, which is known as cladding. Cladding would be of different uh, categories like uh, a plastic or any other thing like that. Inside the cladding, there would be a glass type of thing. A cylindrical glass would be there. That is known as core. Core would be very thin, same as like or even thinner than the human hair. And the data would be transferred in this core through different transport medium. Like uh, a light would be reflected to one part of the glass. It would be reflected back to another side of the glass. Again, it goes on like that. So how come the data is traveling in the form of light? It uses the transmitters and the receivers. There are different types of transmitters and receivers in optical fiber. So first, this is the termination method. The optical fiber cable will have the cladding. We have to cut it with different tools. And once it is cutted, we have to splice it using a different types of splicing machine. There are different types of splicing machines available in the market. It is for two core, four core, six core, and even for a higher cores in the market. So core represents the number of wires or the number of strands in the uh, optical fiber cable. So first, you have to decide how long you have to pull the optical fiber or fiber optic cable. So on one end, you have to terminate it using the splicing machine. And once it is terminated, the other end, there are different methods by which we can connect it. So assume we have a project of CCTV from uh, point A to point B and the distance is exceeding 550 meters, 600 meters, 700 meters, 800 meters. So in that case, what will happen? We may not be able to use the Ethernet cable or we may not be able to use the uh, coaxial cable. So then we will use this optical fiber cable. This optical fiber cable at one side, it would be terminated or spliced using the splicing machine and it could be connected to a, a transmitter and the other end it would be terminated using the same splicing machine it would be connected to a splicing tray and that tray splice closure there are different types of splice closures are there so it would be closed so that no one would be able to disturb it or no one would be able to do something so the first side of the splicing it would be connected to the transmitter and the second side of the splicing it would be connected to a tray and from that tray the cables are pulled and they would be connected to different mediums like uh, audio medium or video medium or data medium like that. You might be wondering how come the data is traveled in the form of light. I'll let you know about that. Assume at one side we are using an NVR and from that NVR we'll be connecting one cable to the uh, NVR port or one cable to the uh, network port uh, through Ethernet cable. That Ethernet cable, another end would be connected to the transmitter of fiber optic cable. The transmitter comes with different ports. It comes with audio mode, it comes with video mode, it comes with data mode. So in data mode, what will happen? We'll connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the transmitter. And from transmitter, another fiber optic cable port would be there. That cable would be connected on the fiber optic port. From there, the other end would be connected to the receiver's fiber optic mode. And on receiver's mode, what will happen? We'll have a network connectivity port. From there, we will take Ethernet cable and we will connect it to the camera. We will connect it to the server. We will connect it to the different types of devices. Once it is connected, we may check it by using a different types of machines like a fiber connectivity tool or fiber checking tool like that. So this is the method for every aspect in terms of audio, in terms of video, in terms of data, in terms of telecommunication, in terms of any, any signal, the same thing happens in fiber optics transmission. The fiber optic transmission works in terms of light. So there will be no data loss, no matter how far the connectivities are. 
point A to point B, it could be 100 kilometers, 500 kilometers, or more than that. The cable will be laid underground and through the oceans using submarines and different types of maintenances would be there. So this is the method by which any signal would be transferred from one form to the another form, like data to light, again from light to data, like from audio to light and light to audio, like from video to light and light to video like that. So it would be used in every aspect like medical, it would be used in audio, it would be used in data, it would be used in internet, it would be used in our daily lives. Optical fiber has, has brought a revolution in the transmission industry. Before optical fiber, we used to use uh, copper cables, ethernet cables and different types of cables. In that data loss would be happening and we would not be getting the entire data which would be transferred from the transmission mode and which would be received at the receiver mode. But in terms of optical fiber, how much data we are transmitting from transmission mode, that much same data without any loss is retrieved at the receiver's end. So optical fiber is one of the best cable. In this video, I could not be able to explain the entire thing related to optical fiber. It is a very vast subject. I have just covered the things which would be useful for our CCTV network. Our CCTV network can be connected using the ethernet, uh, to the optical fiber transmitter again from optical fiber transmitter using an optical fiber cable and connecting the other end to the optical fiber receiver again from optical fiber receiver using the ethernet mode and connecting it to the server connecting it to the ip camera or connecting it to any other device so you might be wondering how optical fiber would be used optical fiber can be used in any medium optical fiber can be used in internet medium in data transfer optical fiber can be used in uh, telephone medium like telecommunication optical fibers can be used in video mode optical fibers can be used in audio modes or any any mode assume that our tv is connected to a cable service provider so that would be connected through an antenna or any kind of telecommunication optical fiber can be connected using uh, DTH devices, optical fiber can be connected using uh, different supplier, it can be connected using telecommunication. So there are many modes in optical fiber. Optical fiber is the single carrier cable which can be used in telecommunication industry, which can be used in video industry, which can be used in audio industry and any other formats. It can also be used in medical fields, it can also be used in uh, transport mediums. There would be data loss in any other cables like Ethernet cable, copper cable or any other form of cable but in optical fiber it will not happen. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, if you have any other things to be covered, if you like me to make these kind of videos for any subject you may comments in below and I'll make a video on that. I'll try my best to make the best video for you people and if you like this video, if you find this information useful, I request you to please like my channel, subscribe my channel and share it with others. In the next video, I'm going to discuss about different topics. Hope you have liked my video. Keep watching my channel. Please subscribe it if you haven't subscribed it till now. Thanks for watching my video. Have a good day.